Frank Magabet. I'm with the County of Santa Clara, and uh, I've been the Fleet Operations Manager here. And part of my job duty is overseeing the upfit department here for our installation team. What we do here is we order cars from the manufacturer, depending on what manufacturer it is. And from that point on, we do all the modifications here. So we install decals, all the electrical equipment, cameras, computer equipment, lights, sirens, amplifiers, PA systems, docking stations for computers, and all the controls that go along with that. Vehicle comes in, there's no decals on it. It may or may not have push bars, but we break everything down. We take the seats out, we take the trunk apart, we take all the panels off, we take the roof headliner down so that we can access everything and we can run all of our wires along with those factory wires. That way we know everything's run in a safe place. The time it takes to build a vehicle from start to finish can vary anywhere between 60 and I'd say 120 hours. The amount of wire we generally run in a vehicle can vary anywhere between 700 and maybe 1,000 feet of wire, including the cables that control all the equipment and the power and ground cables that supply power and the triggering signals to turn on all the equipment. Challenges we face quite a bit with upfitting vehicles is the change in model years, year after year. As technology grows, the computers in these vehicles get much more sophisticated. So learning how to interface our equipment with the OEM computer system is very difficult, but we get it done here at the county. We base everything we do around officer safety. You know, that's really what we pride ourselves on. And we think we have the best cars in the county or in the state. We put a lot of thought into where we're putting the lights, how they sound and taking all that feedback and putting out the best product in the most efficient way we can. The law enforcement factor and the safety that those officers have to do on the streets really relies on how well their vehicle is functioning because the average person's office is not their vehicle. So that vehicle has to be in full operation every time that officer gets in that vehicle and they have to be able to rely on it. We have many vehicles in our fleet and here in the shop we build full patrol cars that uh, you see on the road every day. Uh, we also build uh, a lot of our off-road vehicles for our specialty teams like our SOAR team, we build off-road bikes. We also build uh, the boats that patrol our uh, lakes at our parks, prisoner transport, you name it, we basically build everything here. I really enjoy building something that law enforcement officers use on a daily basis. And for me, I take a lot of pride in building something that supports our community. Knowing that what we do or seeing one of our vehicles on the side of the road amongst you know, other agencies really stand out and everyone talk about our vehicles, it makes a difference. It makes me feel good in that and my job has, has value. The camaraderie here is, is really fun, you know. I've known these guys for the past seven years now, even before then, I've known uh, one of our coworkers here even longer. But yeah, it's great working here. We have great back and forth with the cars, you know, teaching each other and also having fun with it as well. Camaraderie is extremely important because a happy team is a productive team, but more so a team that cares about each other and what they're doing to the vehicles and we're committed to always providing a good, stable, safe vehicle for officer safety and the community.